Good morning, Beaver High. I'm Logan. And I'm Amari. Today is March 26th. And you're watching the Beaver High Morning News. The test is scheduled for the next few weeks is as follows. SAT will be given tomorrow, ASVAP on Thursday, ACT makeup on April 2nd, when testing for juniors on April 3rd, and select seniors on April 4th. Teachers, see emails from Ms. Mitchell for the list of students testing. March 30th at 7 p.m. in the Performing Arts Center. Visit www.bhsmatilda2019.com for tickets and information. Tickets are $10 for students and $12 for adults. Performances will be March 30th, April 4th, 5th and 6th at 7 p.m. and March 31st at 3 p.m. Hope to see you there. Attention seniors, if you're planning to attend prom or walk in the graduation ceremony, you must clear any and all outstanding fees or obligations before participating in either of these events. Please ask your advisory teacher to access the Google document for the fees or obligations you may owe. The bookkeeper's office will be open April 15th through the 17th, Monday through Wednesday during spring break, during the hours of 9 through 11 a.m. to accept payments. Ms. Galley's office is also open daily before school and during all lunches. Plan ahead and clear your debts. The lines will be long if you wait until the week of prom. Bernie Hinton, author of M-Line and Second like Summer, will be here tomorrow during IOT. See Mr. Kenny in the media center if you like to attend. The band and orchestra students are selling $5 tickets for a chance to win a 50-inch 4K TV. Tickets will be sold through April 8th. See Mr. Nichols or any current band and orchestra member for more information. There will be a mandatory meeting for students interested in running for a position on the 2019-2020 Student Council. The meeting will take place during ILT on Wednesday, March 27th in Mr. Miller's room to discuss the requirements and application process. See Mr. Miller for more information. Hosted will meet immediately after school today. Anyone running for an officer position for next year needs to pick up an officer application form from Mr. Smith. Campaign speeches for those running for office will be presented during ILT on Wednesday, March 27th. FBLA is sponsoring an end-of-year trip to Carowinds on Saturday, May 18th. The cost is $85, which includes transportation and a park ticket. A non-refundable deposit of $40 is due March 29th. See Ms. T. Smith in room 2205 for more information. Attention seniors, Interact is selling graduation signs to help you promote your big day. You and your parents can order the signs through VIPDecals.com. The signs are $25 and will come with a stand for your yard. When graduation is here, you and your family can bring the signs to graduation to show your support. Check it out. Deadlines for ordering are April 1st, April 27th, and May 11th. Signs will be delivered to BHS for your pickup. See Ms. Kidd for more information. The Interact meeting for Thursday, March 28th has been moved to Thursday, April 4th. Election of officers for next year will take place during this meeting. Interact is sponsoring a Jeans Day on Friday, April 5th. Red armbands will be sold during all lunches and during ILT. See any Interact board member, Ms. Kidd or Ms. Eminem, to buy a band. Last week was another busy and successful week for Eagle Athletics. Some of the highlighted wins included boys soccer, a from behind win over Battery Creek, boys lacrosse defeated Bluffton, boys tennis defeated Colleton and Bluffton, and varsity baseball took out two of the three games from Hilton Head for first place in the region. And both boys and girls track teams captured first place out of the 16 teams at the Marwin Klein Invitational. Way to go. Today, boys golf will travel to Bluffton for a match at four, boys tennis will travel to Hilton Head for a match at 4.30, JV and Varsity Girls Soccer will travel to Hilton Head for games of 5.30 and 7. JV and Varsity Boys Soccer will host Hilton Head for games of 5.30 and 7. JV Baseball will travel to Bluffton for a game at 6.30. And Varsity Baseball will travel to May River for a game at 6.30. Congratulations to Coach Lyver for being promoted to the head football coach for the 2019 to 2020 season. That's your sports news. Go Eagles. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated for a moment of silence. I mean, we're gonna have a terrific Tuesday today. F is for friends who do stuff together. U is for you and me. N is for anywhere and anytime at all. Down here in the deep blue sea.